Hello guys, welcome back to Divinity Original Sin 2. So we decided to go back and get all our looty items here. Oh shit. <laughs> it's that little light void. Uh, I'm gonna wow, just open the that, that, that chest was definitely worth. Uh, red necklace, huh. Really nothing special about it though. Kinda like my constitution and immunity being stunned. Chainmail boots, I guess it's for Seville. Small potion bottle. I, guess I, I mean, did, did, can't these be combined together? Actually, I guess I can put this on, because, yeah, like, I have one huntsman from this hat, but, like, who cares? Yeah! We got a medium potion. Uh, let me give that to Evan. I guess I'll, uh, send Seville this amulet. Maybe it'll be good. No, I guess not. Actually, it's not that bad, but... Ah, oh, whatever, I'll give it to Evan. Let's sell it, yeah. Check that chest, though. His, his ring of bartering? Grant's chicken claw. It's like, I know what I'm putting on, because I've got a, I'm the barter guy. I need that. I mean, it doesn't give you any bartering, though. <laughs> oh, why does it just give bartering? I mean, it doesn't say that to me. It's just his ring of bartering. Yeah. Alright, you can have all that stuff. Let me go check out my chest. Now is not the time for that. Alright, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> you have one as well? Yeah, do you want do you want the high quality tormented soul? <laughs> you asked me that last time and I said yes. Alright. Evan has it now. Alright, I dropped some things on the floor too. The chest. I can't look at so alright, I was gonna <laughs> The chest will open, kick it, swear under your breath, or leave it alone. The chest is glowing. Luck level 4, though. Oh, let's see if I can beat that. Uh, I mean, I, I can. I mean, the mirror is like right here, so. <laughs> I mean, you're right, but fuck yourself. Get, 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 get over to the fucking mirror. It's like, can I ping it here? Or no, it's floored down, I think, yeah. You can't shame ping me, you have no power here. Do your job. Don't you have lockpicking gear on you? <laughs> what? That chest was definitely worth it. <laughs> yeah, I know, that's what I said. Alright, uh, well, she like these boots. Oh, she would love these boots. Although, as much as I like resistances. Yeah, br resistances are nice. Let's, let's stick with the resistances. Arrow blaster. Like, I have to get rid of, like, I guess I can get rid of comeback kit again. Whatever. I mean, Comeback Kid? Do you what? What is that? Isn't that the one that's like you get revived with health? Why is the painting of Alexander here? <laughs> <laughs> Why you ask? Just realize this now. <laughs> it's ours now. Oh man. All right. So I lost Comeback Kid. Not that I ever used it, but I just thought it'd be nice. Uh, what to get revived? Yeah. Yeah, to, to need that, you need to be in danger and in combat. I think you'd say that. <laughs> You're a cunt. <laughs> well, now that I got extra fees, maybe I can go back and open that door in the inn. Yeah, that wouldn't be bad, bad to do. Alright, I'm back. I'm a Dragoon now. What's the chest? You moved it there? You shame ping it? I, I, I didn't actually move it at all. Oh, shit. I didn't to find Amulet. Arcane Stone. Stitch? What the fuck does this mean? Fully restore target's character's magic armor. Uh, I don't think we really want that. The hunting necklace. Geomancer and leadership. I'll give that to Effen. And win staff. You just get sell that. And bed linen. Alright, that's it. I think I'll sell that ne necklace. Yeah, I, yeah, none of us I think are going to get level Probably. 3. Probably... Probably saw that neck uh, the skull book too, I guess. Uh, yeah, something like that. This doesn't seem good. Yeah, I mean, none of us are going to invest that heavily into that shit. So, I'm going to take you back to the end. So, I'll, I'll be uh, I'll be walking there so you can teleport to Primit eventually there. You're so kind. I know. Of Why can I still see spirits? Right now. <laughs> I don't know. It's 
just don't worry about it. Alright, you can teleport a pyramid to me whenever you're ready. Ah, awesome. Doesn't even make a poof of smoke. Yeah, like level 4, I can unlock this now. Yeah, death resist. Death resist. <laughs> Resistant to death. Oh boy. Peace out, bitches. The fuck is this place? Alright, close the door. We, we need some private. Why are we gonna do in the bed? Pump. <laughs> Pump. A shawl. Dude! What? The chest has such good shit in it. What does it have in it? The panties again. There's nothing it in there. It had a toy wooden block. It's now on the floor. Hey, a face ripper! Oh, good. Blows up your target. Nice. The fuck does this even do? Where is it? Oh, oh it's, nice. it's a skill. It can be used for shape shifting. It blows up your target. All right, one second. I'm gonna I'm gonna use it on myself. You're dead. No, I, I can't use it up. I, I can't actually use it on on us. Why? Oh. It's for you have to use it on corpses, and you can craft shape shifting masks. Uh, why are you giving me soap? Don't worry about it. I'm going to bed. Oh, what? <laughs> I just looked at the the tub. What's in the it's tub? A teddy bear in there. It's amazing. Wow. Now is not the time for a bath. Damn it. I just pick up a bunch of the books. <laughs> he took the dagger. They sell for a bit. There's some more books here. Alright, there's really nothing worth here. This is the place. So then why are we in here? Uh Yeah, I don't think these are really that great. I think I even read one of them. Thick. Yeah, whatever, fuck that. <laughs> I have- I have stolen books here. Schematic. Letter to Mortis. We'll keep that on us. Obsidian Lancelet. Okay. I don't think we really need that anymore. Okay, I'm leaving. So, can you- can you open the other door too? Joy for one night with a lizard. Maybe. See what the thing is. Then you're an idiot. You got a pick who you can trust. You got that right, Hilga. You got that right. You got that right, Hilga. And I'm saying. Oh, I don't want to sell the rite of passage. I can see a sorcerer from a mile away. What do you want, you reptile? You know, if I can get Alexander, I can get any of us. Fuck. You don't have enough gold. Good. Not enough gold. Help us settle an argument. Oh, there's an argument going on. Oh, sweet. What's this disagreement? Thatcher here is one of my dearest friends, but she isn't the brightest. Thatcher grins. Hello. Our mate Boris got posted to Fort Joy for consorting with lizards, and Thatcher here still fancies a turn around the park with Lovric's lizard. I say she'd be sleeping with the enemy. What say you? They look at you expectantly. Uh, <laughs> tell them they haven't lived with them been with a lizard. Thatcher looks victorious. Eden looks annoyed. You're as bad as she is. Get lost then, you're no use to me. Eden turns back to her drink. Thatcher smiles goodbye. Curiosity kills the cat, or gets it sent She to tips you a wink, then turns away. Oh shit. Oh dude, she has a razzle dazzle grenade. Oh dude, I love razzle dazzle grenades. Right, I'll get it for you. Actually no, it's worth like 400, fuck that shit. Yeah, don't buy it. Alright, can I beat this lock? Uh, I trust you so much. I I did a I did a celebratory save. Did you do it? No, you didn't. Oh, it can't be picked, right? Oh, what the fuck? Fuck! I guess you told me to do it. I forgot. Actually, wait. I have keys right fault. now. Maybe 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 one of them will open it. Nope. Did you loot this room at all? Which one? Ping it. Stick to your own kind. Oh, keep telling me I'm causing trouble. Yeah, this one. Yeah, I didn't. I already looted that. Uh, and, and that's where that that chest with like the mysterious lock came from, actually. <laughs> it's, it's the one you, uh, you see the guy sleeping there. That's why he has a chest in front of him. 
<laughs> I see, I see. <laughs> so yes, it has been looted. All right, what's our uh, what's our goals then right now? What do we want to be doing? I don't know. Do you want to go back into the countryside? I, I wouldn't mind doing that. We spent like hours in town. It reminds me of fucking Divinity Original Sin 1. For, like the first time we meet. Towns are a vital source of looting. But, Let's go to that underground area where like the but, dwarves Oh yeah, you're right. We're in the really inn already, might as well. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Go get Beast to talk to him then. Uh, let me, uh... Yeah, do you want to teleport him to me? Yeah. Ah, he, he knows you. Uh, did you hear the dialogue? Oh, no, I didn't. Uh, hey, up if it ain't the beast, man. I can't believe you found driftwood. How how you smell the ale over all that rotten fist. How, get it? Haha, ha, ahem. The unfamiliar dwarf scratches his head nervously, then chuckles again. He doesn't seem sure what to say next. Hey, 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 hey. Shh, shh, keep it low. I don't need magisters crawling up my backside after I just emptied it out. I'll be quiet as a mouse. You bet. Squeak, squeak, squeak. <laughs> now go on down. Effie's Emporium's your back for sure. Alright, you're allowed Dude, Beast just got us in. Yeah. I mean, am I allowed to just walk in there? Let's see. Yeah, I guess I just am. Because I'm a part of your party, that's why. Because I thought, like, we'd have to be separate, but I guess not. That's fine, we're good. Let's pick up a pouch. I've spotted something. The fuck is that? What is that? Dig it up, I dare you! <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah! It's a pouch. Oh, dude, an unidentified amulet. Arrow Surge and Persuasion. Well, I think you should have all of that for yourself. I mean, I don't know, I have, I have, I have immunity to stunned. Save it for that clutch Persuasion check, come on. I, I, I honestly don't really want it, so you can have it. Ah, bitch. I'll take the... I don't know, I have a... Do you, do you, need, do you need another healing potion or no? I'm doing for healing potions. Alright. I we got four on beast and three on... Uh, Ethan. Alright. Yeah, you have a lot then. I guess I'll keep them for myself then. For yeah, that's what I'm gonna say you take them, because I'm doing alright. Right. You want beast to be our, like, our, our guide here, or what? Do you want to be the front man? I'll be the yeah, front yeah. man. Yeah, you can go talk to people. Look at that. A fresh face. Stout and sturdy. Just how I like my dwarves. Ah, she likes you. Good to meet you, governor. What's your poison then? A sip or smoke? Hmm. <laughs> Tell you I have a gander but she has it off. Let's just trade, All right? Wave your hand through the wafting smoke and ask if that's Drudenay you're smelling. Aye, so it is. But not just any Drudenay. Oh no. My own special blends. Oh. Further down's the arena, see? And oh. the gladiators are always on the lookout for an edge. Round two. Round two? <laughs> <laughs> Which has to sell, actually, Lamia? Oh, nothing good. I give them that edge. You could say that my darling herbs flower in the flesh and blossom in the brain. So, if you're interested, Governor, all you have to do is use your imagination. How can I make you bloom? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh fuck. No pussy. Pick one. Say you're always the lookout for further. No, not enlightenment. That's probably something stupid. That's probably intelligence. Uh, say you'd benefit from a bit more ferocity. I think that's finesse. Say you seek greater courage. Yeah. Problem. In return for a reasonable donation, that is. I don't think he has one for the gold, but sure, hand over the gold. <laughs> if he digs all kinds of outlandish herbs from out of the depths of many pockets and mixes them with the patience and skill of an alchemist. Much obliged, Governor. And here's <laughs> your blend. Just take it to that big beauty of a pipe over there and have a blast. What did you just get? I got the courage herb mix. Let me look at it. <laughs> Whatever, let's screw the pipe. What the pipe? Alright. <laughs> I 
smoke billows from the straits <laughs> of the it's, it's adorned with hoses, levers, and slots. Oh, not Drudene. Uh, add a herb mix into one of the slots. Oh, shit! What, what happened? Crafting menu. Courage herb mix. Yeah. Right, combine. Heaven save me! This leaf is strong. Holy shit! Plus five constitution? For 50 turns. Dude, he's so swole right now. <laughs> Let me leave him in dialogues that days. <laughs> we want him to go around though and fucking talk to everybody. Alright, fine. Yeah. He's a dragoon now. I mean, there's uh, something up here. Oh, hey. What the oh, she sells blank skill books. Oh, wow. Hey, is that any pixie dust, bitch? Hey, she does! That's really expensive, I'm not buying that. She sells pixie dust for 2,430. Yeah, no. I mean, it's like... It's, no, no, not worth it. High quality air essence, though. High quality... The, the bet. Oh, shit. No, oh, send it to Lady Lady Vengeance. Okay, good. I, I stole a chest Are you and... stealing? Yeah, 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 just sent it to Lady Vengeance, it's fine. My man! I <laughs> talk to Ganga! Okay, now there's nothing here. I mean, uh, these these guys are lizards, I can go talk to them. One second, get, get out of here. Get out of here. He also sells pixie dust, man. Yeah, we need that. Do we really need it though? Red Prince! Oh, he Your knows majesty, me. Your Majesty, you live! Oh, much have I prayed to seven blessed Zol Stissa that she would keep you safe. Uh, thank him for his kind devotion. My praise is my pride, your highness. Many long hours I have passed here, waiting for your royal self to break through the smoke. I must speak with you, Red Prince. I must speak with you of Bramos the Wanderer. I have met with Bravos in a, in a dream realm. You were supposed to meet him here in the flesh. Oh, this is a quest I have. Okay. Indeed, great prince. But, but... He looks around the hazy room with hasted eyes. The House of Shadows stirs. Uh, Tom, you know the House of Shadows stirs. Assassination attempts tend to have that effect. Seven curse them for their insolence. The Honorable Bramos, too, sends them closing in. He had no choice but to flee from Driftwood. A little ways east he went, in search of safety, to an encampment of paladins. You will find him there, Majesty. And with that, I have told my tale. All right, he's done his duty well. Prince of princes, I am humbled and grateful. He bows deeply, as reverently as one would before a god. Well, I guess there was a quest here. Let me go talk to the other lizard patron here. Watch him fight. Watch him. All right, she just says the same thing as she said to you. Talk to Colressa. Oh shit! Hey, what do you sell? Hey, she sells nothing. <laughs> no, you aren't. Ah, sucker. Do you want Efan? Wait, is there something different with Efan? No, you want. Maybe she wants Lucy. Maybe she wants. Maybe she wants a sweet, sweet uh, lizard fu lizard tail. Are you? Do you want to be the one to steal this chest? Do you want to be the chest master? No. Uh, uh, no, you can have it. I'm, I'm, you're the thieving guy. Hail, such a striking man. Ah, uh, I see. This chest. Sneak failed. Why? Why is the sneak failing? Because someone looking at it, probably. <laughs> I found the blind spot. <laughs> hey, go talk to that guy, beast. No, no, I've already saved that buff. Uh, I've already, I've already <laughs> saved the buff. She draws close. You feel her breath in your neck, hot and moist. Oh, mm. nice. Oh, yeah. I have something that you want, but I only bargain with those I deem deserving, those who have accomplished great things. So tell me, 
Do you want to trade? Oh man, she actually has some items on her. Uh, hmm. Okay, nothing really that great. Are you worthy of my gift? Huh. <laughs> Is that really <laughs> something to brag about? Yeah, 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 do it, do it. Insist that champions of the Fort Joy Arena need not prove their worth. Indeed. Hmm. This is acceptable. You are nearer the one than most self-described heroes I've known. So, tell me. Whoa. Are you ready for me to grant you your greatest desire? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my. Should I skeleton? Til <laughs> tilt your head. Is she coming on to you? It's disgusting flesh, not a skeleton. <laughs> shit. shit. Fuck, I'm oh, it. Make no mistake. Your body would be to my taste. But I am interested in probing deeper. Uh-oh. You have a need to expose it. Look into my ring and tell me what you see there. <laughs> I'm <right>. so dead. <laughs> smallest ring, tell her smallest ring for me. <laughs> tell her you'll do it. Who wouldn't want to see a witch granted? I'm so dead! Gaze into the gem, handsome one. She flashes her ring at you, and you stare at the luminescent stone at its center. You are floating on a current of pure source, surrounded by a kaleidoscope of colors and fuzzy images. On the horizon looms a dark silhouette. As you approach, a beam of light washes the shadow away, revealing to you... Oh, shit. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I think the third is one is what you'd want. God bullshit. I think the third one is what you'd want, honestly. Sounds like you. <laughs> what I'd want? Yeah. Hey, can I trade with the narrator? It's still her inventory. Trade with the narrator. Ah, oh, fuck. Golden chest covered with runes. It sounds like you. That's what you want, maybe. No, that's what you want. You're fucking. <laughs> you tried to say. Bye bye. A you're, golden you're, chest you're, covered you're... with ornate runes and overflowing with emerald. Mm, yes, I see you clearly now. <laughs> Shut up, though. You desire wealth, to wear the finest silks and drape yourself in jewels. I will fulfill this desire. In return, I ask for one thing. In return, a kiss. <laughs> what are you, gay? <laughs> a kiss? <laughs> Ask how that's supposed to help either one of you. Dorothea sighs. A fusion of a kitten's purr and a cockroach's clacking. <sighs> For me to help you, our souls must touch. And a kiss brings our souls closer, does it not? It shall fulfill both your desire and mine. <laughs> Do it. YOLO! Greenwood Deep! Most delicious. Meet me around the corner and come alone. An audience <laughs> is not required. Oh, you're so fucked. <laughs> I'm dead. You're so fucked. Give me dude. your money! No, I'm going to, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be there. <laughs> the audience is She's going to suck my blood. Don't worry, I'll hide behind the wall. I'll sneak. I'm, I'm in true beast fashion. I'm leaving him all the way over there. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, no, this is definitely the place to do it. This is not suspicious at all. Why, hello hey, there. Hey, girl. Hello there, madam. What did she say? Your friend should leave. I prefer a more intimate arrangement. One sec. I'm gonna... Now let's check the bones. Alright, we're here. We're here for you, man. Your friend should leave. I prefer a more intimate arrangement. Okay, you know, I'll just teleport a pyramid in if you need me. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. Good, good, good luck. Good luck. I wish you the best of luck. Sabila's still standing there. Alright, I'm trying to get her away. Don't right, worry, I'll on. be fine. One sec, why can't I move my characters? Oh, there we go. Alright. Your friend should leave. Fuck off, bitch. 
Alright, I'm... They've them linked to beasts. Hang on, I'm linking beasts. Alright. Oh, there we go. She sees you with a stuttering stash. She bites her lower lip and up to it with the force to drop of blood seeps out blood and something else, something green. <laughs> hey, baby. Darling, I admit I wish we could share more carnal pleasures. Yet I think a kiss is the height of intimacy. <laughs> now come closer and receive your soul's desire. You draw closer and close your eyes, eager to feel her lips on yours. Yet her lips do not press your <laughs> face, and her hands do not caress your face. She is a woman no longer, but a wear spider. <laughs> Shrug. Somehow this isn't the weirdest twist you've been a part of. Oh, good. Are you just... The fuck? Just... <laughs> Well then, yeah, if your fang uh, apparently sinks into your neck, you can still hear her words. Although they sound muffled as if filtered through a glass wall. You wanted riches. How boring. But I'm true to my word. Gold, the cost of a spider's kiss. How much gold do I get? We part ways now. I'll... Remember this moment. <laughs> uh, hold on. You're, she's a spider. Did she just drink your blood? You've seen my true self. There's nothing more to know. She kisses her forefinger, then presses it against your forehead. Now go. <laughs> Give me your money! Well, which money did you get? I received a new talent, Spider's Kiss. Ah, uh, what does that do? What, what Minus it? two constitution! <laughs> what, is it, what else does it do, though? That's it! Oh, can you get rid of it? <laughs> but you got gold for it. How much gold did you get? <laughs> Not enough! <laughs> right, that's gonna be a reload right there. Thanks! Oh, c oh come on. Don't be a oh, come the fuck on! I just lost two constitution! I need, I need that! I wanna, I wanna actually see that. That's, uh, that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually the fucking best thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like rip my constitution. All right, fine. I'll load it for you. Jeez. <laughs> Maybe you should talk to her. I fucking would love to, but I need constitution. <laughs> oh, Maybe it's after something better than gold. Doesn't give you a lot. Well, I uh, mean. Let me look it up, and I'll see if there's a... Maybe there's a way to get rid of it, you know? <laughs> alright, alright. That, that shit was pretty funny, though. <laughs> but even, even so, I would not ask for gold. You knew you wanted it. If it was a chest, like, yeah, have some loot. I'm like, yeah, alright then. But no, fucking... Uh, that, see, I... That let me actually see how much of gold I got. Well, I mean, be, how, much, how much gold did you get? I had like 7,000 odd when. after the fucking kiss. <laughs> so I'll just see how much I have in inventory now. Alright. What's, what's her name? The uh, decadent one. Uh. Yeah, she gave me like 2,000 gold. That's nothing. But, but he. it's just the fucking. Oh, wait, is this. Where is she? She went to go basically get kissed by you. I can. I think I have a save before that though. I mean, you. Maybe should load that. Yeah. yeah. This is before I took the chest. It's fine. I I, I trust you to get the chest again. <laughs> Don't worry. I, I did find the the blind spot. Let me let me see here. I'm opening up some pages related to this. Because I'm actually curious about us. So she just gives you a talent. You get minus two constitution and plus two wits. Apparently your wits, were, your wits were supposed to go up too. 
Oh, uh, I see. Okay. So, it's actually not as bad as you would think. Uh, we just chose the gold one. Um, Which is shit. So, the way it works is uh, Oak is Strength, Quill is Intelligence, Treasure gives only the negative two Constitution, dra and Dragon is Wits. So, at the cost of two Constitution, you can get more Intelligence or more Strength or something. The last is a res, res item, apparently. If you want. Are you worthy of my gift? Uh, be on your way. <laughs> <laughs> no thanks, lady. I mean, it's trading constitution for stats, so if you're like, trying to do some stat stacking. Also, why is this on? Alright, there we go. Um, uh, the chest is still there. I'm not fucking taking it this time, you can take it. Fine. I'm so boring. God. When you could talk to her and lose your constitution on Sabeel, stack some wits. I, I mean, I, I might actually. <laughs> I don't know. It's probably not worth, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Oh, she, she has so little as it is, so. That's the problem. <laughs> What's the harm in losing a little more? I, I, I'm, that's some serious glass cannon, let me tell you. I've, I've, I've already learned. I've already learned that in this game they'll jump behind you. A robbery. Uh, he's not talking to anybody. Um, all right, so there's shit up here. So maybe you want to go talk to Kate and shit with uh, him, or do you want to fight in the arena? What do you want? What? It still wants you get something to hide. Excuse me. Good, but listen up. Don't waste his time. He's a bribe. Fuck. You guys, I'd have to talk to him. Uh, it's okay though. Okay, <laughs> state that you would under normal circumstances, but under like this is after you check my bags. Like, oh, your bags are clear. <laughs> uh, who are you fighting? Just her? Just her, but I can <laughs> BRB. Dude, bitch is a spider. <laughs> Give me your money! Are you running away? I'm gonna tactically put her away. I'm gonna target Steve. Get the fuck out of my sight. Let me go check the arena. Fleet combat. Let's, uh, go to Lady Avengers. I'll be back later. You go check out your loot chest? Do you want to go fight in the arena? Of course we want to go fight in the arena. Down for a little scuffling and tussling. Let's see if you got some fight in ya. Time to pull horns and charge the fuck away. I mean, we can, we can fight right now in the arena. If you want to get some Yeah, we're going to get away them. from this bitch first. <laughs> You're already doing your own fight. <laughs> I'm fucking just running down here. See you later! Alright, let me see if she's still, like, combat ready. No, why does she look like a ghost now? Erratic Wisp. Probably some buffs to put on herself. Yeah, anyways, okay, come come over teleport pyramid to me. Sure. I mean, there's also a shrine here. Oh yeah, you got it. Alright, let's go, let's go fight in the arena. That sounds like fun to me. Figure it's time to prove yourself. You are the best of the best. Demand a battle versus the Driftwood Arena champion. Full of piss and vinegar, aren't you, red boy? You gotta show us what you're made of first, though. You can't just waltz in and act like you own the place. Murger's particular. She'll want to talk with you herself before she'll assent to any challenge. Watch your words, mind. She takes against you, there'll be no taking yourself into her good graces again. On your way, then. She's over there watching the match with those skulls to keep. Alright. Guess, is this her? No. Where is she at? Oh wait, she's like... Oh, there she is. I, I see her. It's Murga, the shadow... Sh the shadow... She's level 12. What level are we? We're level 9. Oh, fuck. I, I pulled aggro. 
A dwarven woman oh, spits God damn it. down upon a cave. No, it's not, not that anger. I just, I got... She exudes a just special dialogue for me, the Effie. An even more what? powerful odor of One old sec. sweat and dried blood. She spies you and glows. Okay, one second. Let me find out where you are. <laughs> Juggling conversations. Okay, go ahead. Effort as I live and breathe. Ben Mez, as I live and breathe. I didn't think I'd see you back in Driftwood again. No, no, don't tell me. If I don't know the story, I won't have to lie about it later. She reaches <laughs> out to pinch your cheek and gives you an exaggerated wink. So what's your poison, Governor? A sip. Okay, I think there we go. That's it. I think we're safe now. Say the word, Governor. What are you after? Negative consequences. <laughs> nice. Do it. I, I don't think I follow you there. What are you after exactly? <laughs> yes, yes, do it, do it. Any means, yes. That's what I was afraid of. All sounds mighty reprehensible to me, Governor. Why on earth would I do such a oh, thing? Oh, this is something for me to do. Well, I mean, you can't. Because you're failure. Not you will, Governor, but you ain't convincing me. It's one thing to okay, give these fellas a boost. To, go back to Poisoning them is good. Yeah, you have some of that. We're fodder for the arena. Let Murga, the champion, test how good your reflexes are. Curling her torn lip back over broken teeth, she grabs your hand and pulls you down to the ale-soaked table. Never losing eye contact, she begins arm wrestling you. There, there's a technique. Calculate vectors, adjust your stance, and go. Ha! Your science won't help you here. In the arena, you must be willing to suffer if you want to achieve greatness. She glimmers in and out of view, merging with the shadows. Crowing, she slams your hand down into the table, hard enough to draw blood. I bested that void woken below us, you know. Dragged that scaly lump down there with my own two hands. So, since you can't hope to beat me, what is it you want down here? Tell her you want to fight her and intend to become the arena champion. Ah, based on your performance so far, that's cute. But I shouldn't judge your baby steps. The lion judge is not the pussycat, eh? <laughs> lion say as champion of Fort Joy, she owes you fight. You can purr. Constitution, is she afraid to fight you or strength? Tell, tell her that companion shouldn't hide in the shadows. Murga raises one surprisingly delicate eyebrow. Ah, go talk to the raucous one. Tell him I sent you, and he'll set you up for a challenge. Prove yourself worthy fighting my acolytes blindfolded. Then, I'll knock your teeth out. What? We gotta fight some things blindfolded? We have to lose. We have to win a fight blindfolded. Let's do it. All right, one, one sec. Let's 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 rig the arena though. <laughs> I want to try and one sec. I'm gonna just travel over here. It's faster. Oh, one sec. I'm gonna see if I can talk to her and get her to rig it, rig the arena for us. We need outlaw for that. Good to meet you, governor. Oh, uh, do What's I? Your poison that? Oh, she Take all the time. As you're doing business uh, with right. you, Governor. Oh, What's she smother down. Oh, you get a cut. So, if you're interested, Governor, all you have to do is use your imagination. How can I make you? No problem. In return for a reason. Whatever. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, get, get high. Obliged. Smoke billows from this strange contraption. It's adorned with. Right, where's my herb mix? There we go. <laughs> oh, you got starting AD? That's pretty good, actually. <laughs> yeah, it is really good. You should yeah. get that on Sabeel. Nah, fuck it. I don't care. Let's just go fight. I don't care. Okay. But why, are you, why are you talking to people already? <laughs> I'm, I'm preserving the buffs. Oh. Alright. Let's go uh, start Figure it up. it's time to prove yourself. Let's get it done. Where is uh, Sabeel? Oh, is you're talking to Sabeel? <laughs> Alright, we're ready to fight. Is that so? Well, looks like the crowd will get its money's worth, for sure. You accept her challenge, do you? We'll fight blindfolded. All right. Just make sure to keep the blindfold on. You take it off, you lose the challenge. Real simple. In any case, you're in for a treat, laddie. Better than sweet cream stew on Lucian's day. Who's coming along with you? Uh, announce that you'd like to include all of your nearby companions, even the sovereigns hailing from other realms. I'm a sovereign. <laughs> Permanently blinded. Okay, what does this do? Accuracy 35%. <laughs> so, what I'm are we fighting? I'm level 10, too. It's gonna be a hard fight. Oh, yeah. Fuck it. 
All right, where is a good place for me to go? Chest in here? Cause the last room had a chest in it, which had some like grenade. Oh, what the fuck? There's a void woken. There's a void woken. All yeah, right. Yeah, look at the left. It's behind a cage. Uh. Void woken. Oh yeah, you're right. This beetle. She can't see. Yeah, so I can't tactical retreat. <laughs> Up anywhere. <laughs> well, you can probably tactical retreat the haste uh, and then just go up the high ground. Maybe then you'll be able to see, kind of. Let me just tell you here. No, I can't. Uh, do, do you know how far my range is in there? Let me, let me pick it out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, best flesh sacrifice anyway? Uh, for, for what reason? <laughs> so I can get a blood it out because the blood it can see? Yeah, that's actually pretty good. I mean, I could just make it rain, but yeah, I guess so. What, you gotta do this anyway, right? This is part of your All thing. Right. Yeah, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk, I think, over here. We're gonna let them come to us. How's that sound? Sure. Alright, let me just do some buffs. Actually, I probably should have elemental arrowheaded it. But why can't I... I can't do clear mind on myself? You can't see yourself, I guess. <laughs> Interesting. Where am I? I guess there's really nothing I can do here. Pick up a wheel again. I guess I'm just gonna wait. Because we gotta fight in melee, basically. I, I would say that we should all move over here. Well, you would say that, but I say I gotta get this guy up. Cannot be cured by What's any mundane means, that's why. Target. Can't remove them. Yeah, okay, so I can still yeah. see things nearby. No, actually, no, I can't. No. I can't target anything. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know. That means I can- I, I can't heal. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, you have to be right beside the person you want to heal, I guess. Or wait. Let me just- Oh, yeah, I can't right. buff my incarnate! No! <laughs> I think we lost. We lost. Can I still summon- can I can still summon totems. Okay. Maybe I'll make a blood rain here, just so you get like uh, uh, some terrain here to do totems here. We're gonna just let them come to us. I think is the plan. It's a good plan. At least beast and uh, yeah, we, prince we wanna, fight. We wanna, I'll take the yeah, low ground beast. Yeah, we wanna we wanna hide over there. Yeah. So well, I, I guess before... no. Actually, I'll wait on that. I was gonna use this uh, ability to give her an armor, but there's no point. Like I said, I'll make it rain blood, so you can make blood totems here, and stuff. Alright. Oh, my lord. Targeting... <laughs> yeah, I... I right in front of us. <laughs> yeah, basically. Is there any point in making myself fly? Get around faster, I guess. Oh, yeah, no, 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 I can't fly very far, let me tell you. Do it anyway. No, uh, not worth it. It's fine, you didn't step in the blood. That was your future, oh, King. Risen to fire. Yeah, I'd say just get out of there. Okay, good for you, you fuck. Okay, that guy has a lot of HP, by the way. Actually, they all have yeah. a lot of HP. They're all level 10. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, I'm gonna delay my turn, I think. Alright. He's pretty close. Jump on this guy? Yeah. Let's fuck this guy up then. What the fuck? That is a lot of damage. What can I do? So... We're gonna blow him I'm up I'm trying to see what I can actually do here. I, I, I mean, worst case scenario, we just... We leave and we just kind of... Don't... I, I think after this, we're not gonna do the rest of the combat, though. <laughs> I think we're gonna wait until we're a higher level and come back here. I mean, I would do that now, but uh, let's let's just see. Let's, the, let's see how this plays uh, out. Let's see it through. I think we're fucked, by the way. But you know, like I can't use any of my support abilities. Spiel can't shoot. Yeah. Spiel is actually as good as dead. Maybe maybe we should say uh, no to this. I'm starting to think so. Let's let's just see how the g blowing up this guy goes. Well, I can taunt this guy, but that's about it. And I might as well. Yep, you take the high ground. Uh. 
Yeah, you know what? Fuck that. <laughs> let's uh, let's come back another time. What do you say? <laughs> uh, no, we can totally win. Yeah, I think it's not happening. We gotta we gotta do some other shit first. We can't. Wait, there's enough just to, to to not fight with fucking blindfolds. I mean, but the, that's that's the challenge that she wanted us to do. So I'd say let's just wait until we're like way more leveled, and then we'll come back here. Okay. Like I should have known the person that we were actually like the thing is she won't fight us like we want to become champions of the arena basically is the whole thing she won't fight us until we fight like a bunch of schmucks basically and, and she herself was like level twelve by she's the way. level twelve yeah so that's what I'm saying we should just come back and do it later when we're level level twelve so we should I mean also I could just talk to her because I am the champion of the arena I'm the one yeah no but she'll that's what she says anyways because I can lie to her I convinced her to basically allow us to fight so yeah. Fuck that then. <laughs> Cause I didn't realize it would also like remove all my fucking like healing abilities and shit like that. That's like really weird. Cannot heal it through any mundane means. We got blindfolded dude. Alright, let's go. Where we at, my man? Alright, well let's let's go do um let's go do the one last thing here, which is uh talk oh, over here. You try up. And then, uh, and I think we're good in this area, then. Why are there no, why are there no spirits in the arena, I ask myself. Are you coming? Coming? Yeah. I wonder if, uh, Sibyl has anything new. Go on, then. Uh, ask Sibyl, uh, you wonder how she ever managed to escape from her master. Huh. A tale of cloaks and daggers and daredevilry. Of Are you up for it? Of course you want to hear it. Wonderful. She bows with thespian flair. Imagine a black room. It's been your room for years. You know it by touch more than sight, for it's always dark. And when I say always dark, I mean always dark. You're either in the room or in the box, for it's in the box that you travel. You're only let out at night, because you only hunt in the night, with the master's voice in your ears urging you on. And after it's done, you lie down in the box once more, with wet hands and mad red thoughts. A box has this even still saying. Sometimes it's best to let sleeping questions lie. The thing is, the box didn't break me, though I confess it taught me to hate. One night, I killed a scholar. With my needle through his fragile old skull, he fell headfirst upon his writing desk, blood mingling with spilt ink. It's when I saw the ink that timid thoughts of rebellion first bloomed. Back in my dark room, I dipped my needle that killed the scholar in his own ink and engraved his name in my skin. I'd remember him. I'd honor him with vengeance. His name was the first, but many more followed. Uh, can we see the name? Of course. She bears her left arm and shows you the name. You softly run your finger across it. Mindaran. He was Turishar, a keeper of stories. Hm. I'm sure he was loved by many. People like him, the beloved dead. They kept me going. Then, one day, it happened. A gush of wind. A sliver of light. Light! I hardly knew it for what it was. A simple oversight that comes with habit. A door, left slightly ajar. That was all I needed to feel a rush of blood, a thirst for liberation like never before. I tore at the shackles that kept me chained to the floor, iron thick as a smith's wrist. Of course they wouldn't budge, they never did before. But now, now that I saw the light, something welled up inside me, a raw and undeniable burst of power. The shackles broke, and next thing I knew, I was free. I stood alone outside the ruins of a fortress, snow-capped peaks all around me. But the sun, oh, the sun. I had risen as if from the grave, and she kissed me back to life. Uh, and she stood in the middle of nowhere, ask what happened next. Why, I traveled back to civilization and had myself a long, luxurious bath. Uh... Why she kills her chosen targets with a needle? Why not use a sword or dagger? I was given my needle by the master. Guess I'm just sentimental like that. <laughs> Come on, ask me more to it. Fine, if it means that much to you. 
She draws her needle and holds it up between thumb and index finger. Go on. Ever so gently touch the tip. Very well. Reach out and lightly place a finger on the needle's tip. Barely have you touched the needle's pinpoint surface when a thick droplet of blood wells up from your fingertip. Sharp little minx, isn't she? Sibyl, this needle was forged in an altogether different world. It wasn't wrought upon a crude anvil hammered into shape with rough blows. No, it was cast with demon precision. It is absolutely priceless. And it's yours. The master's own words. And he was right. As an instrument of assassination, it's absolutely priceless. But one day soon, he'll find out just how much he overspent on his gifts for little old me. Just why this needle is a girl's best friend. One might say I'm a bit of a sucker for poetic justice. All right, so for that guy. I, I, I like her story more than I like Red Prince, because all the Red Prince gets is, like, fucking dreams that make no sense. Talking to Beast. Oh, uh, what's he saying? Uh, hey. Ask what he makes of the god tree and everything. I... Uh, I don't know. I've never been one for worshipping. I always figured if Duna really existed, he'd show himself. I mean, am I really supposed to ask some invisible dwarf in the sky to grant world peace? Or give me a pony? Yeah, it sounded like a waste of time to me. But, uh, then he showed himself. He said he could help me free our people if I helped him. And I left with more questions than when I started. Ask Beast what he's just do next. Well, the way I see it, we're supposed to learn the ways of Source from these teacher people. It's like going to school. Someone learns us a lesson, and then there's a test. Beast grumbles. I don't like tests. Okay. Alright. Take your leave. Yeah, I would say go talk to the people in here. With Ifan or Beast? Beast. I think Beast should do it. Let me check the battle off first. Uh, he, he's just a guy. He's standing guard. Yeah, I already... What do you want? Boss, busy. Yeah. yeah, just fucking go through that. Loha, you've been living under a boulder. Uh, say you're here on business. Good. Boss could use some good news. Listen up. Don't waste his time. These are explosive times. Be respectful. One second. I'm giving Beast the thing that basically is the note, so. You're really ticking me off, Marla. Go ahead. The fuck? Oh, Marla's dead. <laughs> I brought you up from girl to woman, Marla. Like you was my own. This. He lifts his right arm, showing a white bandage beneath his ribs. A wet red spot shows through. This ain't the thanks I expected. Who sent you? <laughs> the formidable dwarf slams his fist on the side table. You hear a loud crack. Enough! Do you know they killed Anhar? Do ya? Start talking sense or I'll take that tongue right out of your mouth and fry it for supper. Beast growls under his breath and slowly reaches for his weapon. Oh man, allow Beast to interject. Beast thrusts his weapon at his fellow dwarf, who looks first to you, then to Beast. He's surprisingly unfazed by the obvious threat. Bond, Cade, get her to talk or bleed her out. She ain't one of mine anymore. His sneer travels from the restrained dwarf to you. And you. You're a brave lad waltzing in here now. I know who you are, you know. The beast of the sea. What brings you to this good-for-nothing town? Operation Downfall, you numbskull. And you'll tell me what you know, or I'll turn your guts inside out and stuff them down your throat. Disgusting. Well, before you go blood-crazed, you should know the Queen's no friend of mine. Not no more. He hawks a wad of spit on the floor, then motions to the room around him. I'm a businessman. I can't say I always keep things on the up and up, but I don't think a rogue pirate's got a lot of room to judge a man for his various trade concerns. And what Justinia's cooking up ain't so good for my bottom line. I don't want to help Justinia. I want to stop her. 
Beast considers Lohar's words for a moment, then sheaths his weapon and motions to Lohar to keep talking. I thought you'd see things my way. Come, make yourself comfortable. We'll have a chat when you're ready. Uh, you know what? Let's, let's leave it off there. This is fucking taking forever. <laughs> okay. I, I just realized this. So, uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Peace out. And uh, we'll uh, continue this later. So, goodbye. Goodbye.